Hey, what's up, guys? This is Alec Hibbert on the RTS Daily. Back again with another game. Uh, this is Command and Conquer 3, uh, Kane's Wrath, and I'm doing things a little differently. Uh, yeah, uh, this is a replay, actually, of me playing a game. Um, this is me. I'm playing as the screen here, just straight screen, and I am facing a straight GDI. This is Kane's Wrath. Uh, so yeah, this is me against a brutal, uh, a brutal GDI on, I don't even know what this map is. But yeah, uh, I got a request to do a brutal GDI one, and, uh, I've, I've been trying it, uh, I lost a good amount of times, <laughs> and then trying to figure out a good map to beat it. But, uh, I was running into a lot of problems where, uh, late game GDI with the Juggernauts, Zone Troopers, and all the air they built, I wasn't able to beat them with... I just couldn't keep up with their production. So I decided a smaller map, and I was going to rush them a bit. You know what I mean? I was going to try and control the middle, and I was going to try and keep his tear down, keep bothering him, fight over resources, especially in this map, because all the resources are in the middle. If I can control the resources in the middle, I can control his numbers. So yeah. This is, uh... So I basically start off refineries whatever throwing down my my uh my barracks after my construction yard thing my uh crane excuse me and then uh i got some buzzers and disintegrators in the middle this is through my eyes so uh you guys are watching everything i'm doing basically i feel like that'd be the best way if you guys want me to change it or do you, if you guys like this replay system or if you don't like this replay system you just wants me to uh play it live or if you guys just want me to do like you guys can see everything and i just roam around with the mouse then uh then let me know in the comment section below but yeah uh i wanted to basically the goal was to control the middle spike even if i, I get the best thing i want out of it is the initial 750 dollars that i get out of it and it seems to bother him a lot Get a little lag here. No idea. Just give me a second. And I will see to fix it. I, I think I got it. Sorry, sometimes uh, Command and Conquer 3's uh, replay system is kind of buggy. So that's why uh, this may or may not work. But uh, yeah. So if you see like a pause, that's that's my, my guess of what it will be. But uh, yeah, I'm basically trying to focus on the middle right there, and trying to just control that spike as long as possible. All that is free money for me, as I try and also expand on the bottom, as you see there. Now he's got a bunch of, now for my all infantry army, he's got a bunch of uh, APCs, which wreck disintegrators and buzzers. So I have a very hard time doing anything with it. But I know I can't control the middle, so I'm just focusing on trying to get my expansion up and defend this this is going to be my my number thing because as you see my main my main mineral patch in my base is almost gone already it's amazing how fast it actually goes so basically i'm just trying to build some units and control the bridge now what i also can do i can also destroy the bridge so he can't get across now if he has an engineer though he can use an engineer and repair the bridge to get across it but he seems to be drawing his attention toward my expansion now, which I kind of want, but I also don't want him there because that's where all my money is going to be. But I also put most of my defenses down here because it's where I wanted him to go. So I start sending some reinforcements down and put down a barracks. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I apologize. <laughs> my throat's like <laughs> dry. But uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just Ding up right now and then uh, just trying to establish my economy better down here I'm putting down more refineries there, and I'm trying to control him so he doesn't get over across this bridge Now I know I'm on a time limit basically because I have to control the resources and basically fight them off As well as build up my answer for the late game GDI So it's very difficult. I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do but I was sticking on these tier 1 units and not teching up the tier 3 until I had enough economy, you know what I mean? So I was just basically sitting down, Ding up, building a ton of disintegrators and buzzers because they're cheap and deal with his units a lot. As long as I, the only thing I have to really worry about is APCs and I built a couple like seekers and everything to take care of them. 
And now my main mineral patch is all out. So I sell one because there's no point in having two. And I need the cash. Obviously I'm broke. Now he's starting to push up the middle again. And I just keep throwing down power. And I, I should have upgraded the power in this game, but I never really did. I just kind of threw down more power plants. <laughs> and he just keeps bombing me with that ability. That's always fun. And now here I try to do like a little counter attack just to try and slow up the reinforcements. I catch out some units. I The nice thing about disintegrators is you saw, if vehicles run them over they blow up like a suicide bomber. Kind of like fanatics but they have an attack. And are cheaper. Disintegrators are great units. So I'm trying to defend up the, the bridge. I have that defended. And I took out his one attack. Now I see that he's starting to build his air. So I'm like, oh boy, he's not, I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. So I'm just taking what units I have and exploring what he's got. I see that he doesn't have a tech lab up yet, so he's not up going to tier 3. So I just see, okay, I just threw those units away because I wasn't going to get anywhere with those watchtowers. And he's just kind of shelling my harvesters from the top, and I just keep building more and more eco. Because I know I need money late game. He's trying really hard to get over the bridge, and I am controlling it pretty well. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm just pushing across the bridge, taking care of uh, some units he's got, taking care of the units in the bunkers so they don't keep shelling my harvesters in the bottom. And I don't know why that thing lived for so long. <laughs> I should have killed that mutant novel a long time ago. So yeah, um, basically I'm just still sitting back Dean up and I see he's going a lot of air so here comes his transition to air. I have a couple gun walkers but other than that not much here that can take care of air and his air is starting to wreak havoc on my numbers. I tried to push over the bridge and see what damage I could do. Obviously I couldn't because there's too many watchtowers there and he has the air there to defeat my, my ground forces. So I start throwing down some anti-aircraft guns because I know that they're all the air is coming and I need to defend my very few production structures and I also need to defend uh, my uh, all my harvesters and refineries Building. Building. now I know I have to tech up soon as well because I I know that the juggernauts and the air that once the air starts coming then he's gonna then he's going to uh, usually go up in an age age. <laughs> what is this, Age of Empires? Good lord. Go up in a tier to tier 3. I apologize. I, I'm just, I'm just tired. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm continuing uh, my strike here, holding the middle, and he seems to be very preoccupied with uh, hitting my units here, which is fine, because he's not hitting my eco, and he's not hitting, uh, hitting any of my base. So he's just focusing on my units, and now I see the juggernauts are out. So I'm like, okay, I need to tech into something that can take care of Juggernauts. And on this map especially, Juggernauts are really hard to deal with. Because they can sit on that bridge, they can shell you, shell all my stuff from below. Now I tried to bring in some infantry, but he, he built some snipers, which are really good against what I had. I've, thank god I had a buzzer there, and he didn't shoot the buzzer, so that's good. He also has a commando. So I'm like, uh-oh, I need to tech up. So my answer to this is I threw down that, that airport. So basically I'm going to go for Devastators is my thing. They're long range just like the Juggernauts and they're air. I know he has a lot of slingshots but I think I can control the slingshots with the amount of disintegrators I have. And I do need more anti-air because he's hitting my, uh, my bottom uh, base. Now I did buy a second uh, construction yard which is... Uh, I forgot what it's called for Scream. But I also threw down the uh, the the buzzers there as well, my one side ability to take care of these guys in the buildings because I'm going to land this in my expansion. I'm going to expand again on the other side here to fully control the middle uh, resources. And if I can control these resources, you won't be able to get out a ton of juggernauts, and that's the goal right now. I already have the bottom side pretty much controlled. So the longer I can control this the better for me and also I'm getting a lot of money as you can see I'm actually floating six thousand dollars which is a lot in this game I should be building more 
but I'm I'm queuing up some stuff, and I'm pretty sure I'm teching up right now, because I know I have the expansion, and I know uh, and I know the juggernauts are coming. <laughs> so I'm just gonna d up a little bit on this side, lose power, <laughs> and he's got an ion cannon. So now I really am on a timer. He's got some now he's bombing all my power, which is smart. And he's got some hammerheads hitting my outer defenses. And I need some anti-air guns up there as well. So on the bottom, I'm still building a bunch of air, and I have some seekers up here. I should probably send those down in the bottom to uh, help myself out. But yeah, I don't know why <laughs> there's a harvester up there. That's really funny. But yeah, I know he's hitting me on that side, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to go up this side and see what damage I can do. Maybe I can take out some power and slow up that ion cannon counter. I throw down some anti-air guns up there and brought the Seekers. So I should be able to deal with the anti-air up there. Now I'm bringing up the force over here to see if I can either pick off some power to try and slow up that ion cannon. Trying to D up this further. And I, I'm pretty confident right now just for the fact that I own the resources. In this game, if you can control where the resources are and where your enemies take getting resources, then you're gonna have a you're gonna be in a great spot because he can't do anything if he doesn't have any resources. So I'm just Ding up, I'm taking care of the air on top, and I'm feeling in a good spot. I have my tier three tech down. And I, I see he's he's also mining out of these bottom patches. So I built I'm starting to send my seekers up there and they're getting wrecked by juggernauts, but I'm also hitting his harvesters and that's my main thing. See how the hard juggernaut count starting to increase? And that's scaring me a bit. <laughs> And he is bombing the hell out of my power. It's really aggravating. I'm using that Seeker basically just a one for vision. Not Seeker, that uh... Man, I really wish I remembered the names of those. <laughs> I don't play a ton of Screen. I love Screen. My favorite race is uh, Black Hand, if you haven't noticed. But yeah, uh, that uh, one ship I'm using as a, uh, as a scout. Now I'm starting to pump out double Devastators now. So the Devastators... Um, they have really long range and they're great against juggernauts. If I can defend them against the sl defend them so the slingshots don't get to them, I should be in good shape. So I'm just gonna stack up. I'm already deed up, and I'm gonna start stacking up the numbers. I already have three now, and once I'm up to like five or something like that, then they're in a critical mass where they start wrecking, just wrecking everything. <laughs> So I see that he keeps pushing in, so I built a, uh, a barracks up top and I want to start taking out some of these harvesters. I gotta stop him from getting money. I don't want the juggernaut count to increase anymore and I don't want any more slingshots because of uh, the amount of uh, air I'm actually building. And he's starting to shell my harvesters with his juggernauts, so it's, it's becoming even harder for me to mine. I get that one shot in that harvester nice and kill it. And then I'll be able to kill this one. That's three harvesters he just lost. So that's $1,600 a harvester to replace. Now I'm up to six Devastators. Now I'm going to start pushing forward and pushing my advantage. The nice thing about Devastators, especially with a map with a bridge on it, I can destroy the bridge. And if you destroy the bridge and units are on that segment of bridge that you destroyed, they'll fall through and obviously get destroyed. So he keeps bombing me and shelling all my power. It's fun. <laughs> so I just keep replacing the power, and then here come. There's the power of the devastators, and see how I can just destroy a segment of bridge. And now he can't get across, and I can destroy where his juggernauts are. So I see the juggernauts. Now I'm in a perfect spot. Look at that. Boom. There goes three in one volley. And there's just nothing he can do. I can shell all his stuff from there, and I just keep those guys up, and I do the slow push. I build up my forces on the side. And I slow push the front. Now I know I have two minutes on this ion cannon and I cannot allow it to hit me. That is game changing. Now I know it's like, oh, how could it be that game changing? You have all these, these devastators, how can you do anything with it? Or all these planes, you can't do anything with them. But if he ion cans my base, I'll be out of power. And as you can see, money on this map is really tight. There's not much money. That's almost gone already. And I've poured it all into air. Now I got the force field upgrade for my ships. 
Now I just keep bombing him, and I'm bringing this side, this attack on the side here, because I want to hunt power. So I start focusing on the watchtowers real quick, because those things will wreck infantry, especially with AP rounds that they got up. Now I'm trying to focus fire some power here. I should be focus firing the ion cannon and just getting it out of the way, but oh well. Or the barracks, you know, so he stops building uh, rocket men. But uh, yeah, now I'm just in the back picking off power and starting to attack his airports so he can't build any more planes. And I, I feel like I'm in a really good spot here. I have the air superiority, I seem to have the slingshots under control, and I know he's not getting any money because I own the middle. So now he's building a lot of anti-air, and he's actually destroying a couple of my ships. I only have three left there, but thank god I've been building ships while I've been fighting as well, and that's a big thing, is building while multitasking. You want to fight, and you also want to be building. You want to be macroing behind your attack, because he's got a ton of rocket men. So I decide to throw down the swarm, the scourge of uh, little buzzers, <laughs> and so take care of all those rocket men, because my units are not very good at taking out rocket men, the big airplanes. Well, you'd think they should be good, but apparently not. <laughs> So yeah, and I'm just hammering him and just trying to, uh, one, just stop him from mining. I'm hitting his harvesters, and I also destroyed that ion cannon so he won't have a chance to hit me. Now I feel like I have this pretty much wrapped up, it's just finishing him off now. Because he seems to just find money wherever he goes. <laughs> he always has money for some reason. And for some reason he still has m uh, resources in his main base, I have no idea how, but he does. I need to focus down these barracks because this guy just keeps building more and more rocket men, which is really annoying. And as you can see, even with all these harvesters and all this, all these refineries I have, I still have no money. I'm still broke. You spend most of this game broke. He's got a uh, anti-air with tungsten shells upgraded. Those melt air. If he had a couple of those and I ran in there, it's bad news bears. And I'm not paying attention as they're just slowly getting melted. But again, thank god I'm building a bunch of them, because I still have six. Even though I've been very foolish with the numbers, and throwing a lot of them away, I still am building behind it, so I'm able to continue the attack. So it's basically like cleanup right now. I'm just, I pretty much have him, he's not allowed to build anymore. I destroyed most of his production structures. My harvesters are in there taking his money and dying. <laughs> and I'm just trying to shell him and just kill him off right now. As you can see, there's no money left on the map. I mean, I got a little, little money back in my base, but that just replenished. As something with Screen does have, they have, uh, uh, like, Tiberium accelerators. So basically, you put them in the middle of the Tiberium field, and they, uh, they allow uh, Tiberium to regrow faster. That's something I should have built in this game, and I didn't. I was just too distracted, because <laughs> I knew I had to hit him quickly and I knew I had to defeat him quickly because if I allowed the GDI to get strong in the late game I would never be able to beat him. So that's the kind of the strategy I came up with in this one. I know you don't get to see like a ton of top tier units. You got my tier three, some of my tier three units, but you don't get to see the crazy me beat the crazy late game GDI. But yeah. And there is my victory. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this strategy. Um, it was uh, it was more of a compromise. I, I mean, I've tried it multiple times to trying to on a bigger map, trying to like uh, trying to hold him off, wait till late game, and then hold off his late game push. And I never could. Uh, I'm gonna keep trying though, and when I do finally crack the code for that, I'm gonna put up a video of that as well. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, here are the late game stats and everything. I destroyed the most structures. But here's the main thing right here. Average income rate. When I get more resources than the brutal, then you know you <laughs> you did well. But yeah, uh, all, like, you kill a unit to death is not a huge deal, but it, it's a very big deal, especially for like uh, for resource conservation. But uh, in this one, I had so much infantry, that's why so many died. That's why uh, my kill to death ratio is off. But uh, yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and definitely let me know if you guys like this format, or you guys want me to go back to me playing it live, or you guys want me to, instead of uh, 
lock on my camera view, sort of free roam it, or show both of us and show what he's doing and what I'm doing, uh, definitely leave a comment in the section below letting me know uh, what you guys think and uh, what you guys would like to see in the future. Also, let me know of any uh, future matchups you want me to do. Do you want me to play against a certain race? Do you want me to play as a certain race? Do you want me to do like a certain map? I would love to definitely, uh, definitely try out any strategies or any uh, things you'd like me to do. I'm definitely open to that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video.